hello guys welcome back to the cds cloud today we are going to discuss how physically you can connect your netscalers via physical cables and how you guys can mount your netscaler into the data center so generally we have the these mpx boxes so you guys need to mount these uh, physical mpx boxes into your data center right after that you guys need to plug in the cables so we can plug two types of cable here first one is rg45 and the second one is fiber optical cables so there is a limitation in rg45 cable that we can achieve only 1 gbps of speed in rg45 cables but in fiber optical cables you guys can achieve 10 gbps of speed in fiber optical cables so as a citrix engineer you guys can recommend that use uh, fiber optical cables in your data center but it it is totally depend upon your client so if they have the limitations for rg45 you can go with the rg45 as well so first you guys need to plug one cable in your network switch one and then uh, plug this cable on the first node of your net scaler again that next then the, the next cable you guys need to mount from here to your secondary switch so why we are plugging two cables in the net scaler because of redundancy if my one switch goes down the network flow doesn't stop and it can go, go via secondary switch the same configuration we will do in our secondary net scaler from one cable from here to this switch so that if my one net scaler goes down the network flow can go via secondary net scaler so this is the way generally we will configure these net scalers physically in our data centers so we'll see how many types in how many types we can configure the net scaler like one r mode two r mode multi r mode in our next video so just stay connected with the ctx cloud and share this video with your friends thank you thank you guys